Hello everyone, the Nord Medic here. In this video, let us learn about abrasions. So abrasions are mechanical injuries causing the removal of the superficial layer of the skin. And by superficial layer, we mean the epidermis and the upper layer of dermis known as the papillary dermis. Now, abrasions can be of different types based on the direction of application of force. The force can be a tangential force that is along the body surface or it can be a perpendicular force that is 90 degree to the body surface. Now based on tangential force, abrasions can be scratches or grazes and if the force is perpendicular, we can get a patterned abrasion or a pressure abrasion. Now depending on the direction of force, if the force is tangential, we get scratches that you can get by scratching your skin with a pin or your nail and you can get grazes. As you can clearly see, graze is nothing but a scratch in a 2D arrangement. That means multiple scratches present in a small area represent a graze. Again, if the pressure is perpendicular, we can get something known as a pressure abrasion and pattern abrasion. Now, pressure abrasions are basically formed due to a tight force over any part of the body. Now, in this image, you can see this is a ligature mark. And this pressure abrasion is formed by the tight fitting of the ligature on the neck. On the other hand, in the pattern abrasion, you can see a tire mark, the tire which has caused the abrasion on the abdomen of the body. Now, abrasion examination involves parameters such as sight, size, shape, that means pattern of the abrasion, then direction of the abrasion, force application, now edges of the abrasion, any discharge from the abrasion, now contamination of the wound by infection of foreign body, time since injury and whether the abrasion was caused anti-mortem or post-mortem. Now direction of force application is very important as important is the time since injury and whether it is an anti-mortem abrasion or a post-mortem abrasion. Now discharge is not that important because most of the abrasions gen generally don't bleed as they involve the superficial layer of the skin which, are, does, which does not have much blood vessels. Now direction of application of force in abrasion is very easy to understand. Now when you scratch your skin and form an abrasion, at the end of the application of force pathway, you get a epithelial tag. And wherever you get the epithelial tag, remember the force is always directed towards the epithelial tag. And this is how you can easily know how the direction of force is aligned in an abrasion. Now age of abrasion can also be told by the color of the scab. If you see that the abrasion is raw, then it is less than 12 hours old. If you get a red scab, that means it has crossed 12 hours. If the scab is reddish brown, that means the abrasion is aged 2 or 3 days. Brown scab represents 4 to 5 days old abrasions. And finally, in 6 to 7 days, an abrasion becomes black. And after 7 days, the abrasion heals completely. Now, it is again also important to know whether an abrasion was caused before the death of the person or after the death. That is anti-mortem or post-mortem. Now, anti-mortem abrasions can have... A bright red color, the scab can be present, vital reaction present, healing process is also seen and can be seen anywhere on the body. Whereas post-mortem abrasions are mostly seen on the bony prominences and are formed due to handling of the body in the morgue. Now color can be yellowish or parchmenty, scabs are generally absent, so are the vital reactions and healing process is not generally seen because the body is obviously dead. Now what are the medical importances of the abrasion? To know that you should always remember medical legally most significant wounds are abrasions and most of the abrasions are simple hurt except the corneal abrasions which constitute a grievous hurt. Now the abrasion can tell us about the type of the weapon based on the cut mark direction of force and the pattern of the abrasion. It can also tell us about the direction of force and the color of the scab can tell us time since injured. By this time I believe you have understood enough about the abrasions. By any chance, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share this video among your friends and peers of medical school. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please pay, press the bell icon and put a notification to all so that you never ever miss a video from my channel. Also, if you want high quality notes and flashcards, follow me on my Instagram and Facebook. The link is in the description box below. And for medicine related content, never ever forget to subscribe to my channel, The Nord Medic. If you want to get in touch with me, my contact details are over here on the screen. Also, for biology related content, go and check out the channel Animated Biology with Arpan, who is also a collaborator of this video. Until then, bye bye. See you in the next one.